If you became the MP for Mount Roskill, would that, you know, would that, would that say something to the ethnic group that you came from? I think it will say not only something to the ethnic group that I come from, but also to the other ethnic groups that do call Mount Rosco or even Auckland home, uh, because it will then give them that, uh, that you know, uh, because ultimately what tends to happen is that if you do have uh, more diverse representation on the decision-making table, it does give those communities mm. who are disenfranchised or who do not feel comfortable in raising those concerns because of the past government experience that they have witnessed overseas or, you know, where they come from. Um, it gives them the confidence that, you know, they can yeah. actually have their say. And, and I'll give you an example of that. I mean, I was out and about uh, in Mount Roskill a couple of years ago. Uh, it was regarding the no asset sales petition back in the day. Uh, so I was out and about with the local MP, Phil Goth. Um, so I was door knocking uh, one of the old streets where I used to live, uh, Harville Crescent, um, and I door knocked on one, one, of, one of the guys' uh, houses and I told him that, you know, uh, we're out and about collecting signatures to keep our assets. Uh, this is against the government's, uh, uh, government's plans. And you should have seen the look on his face. As soon as I said this is against the government's mm -hmm. plans, he literally closed the door on me mm -hmm. and he ran inside his house. Um, and, you know, it's just part of that experience. I mean, that, that, that probably that guy had with government back in his hometown or his home country.